Questions? So the first question is, has to do with the content of their analysis. Do they analyze the effectiveness based on what, what audience the source is appealing to? Or in general, because obviously like, yeah. you could analyze it differently. You can do it that way. I ask them to do it in terms of themselves. Cool. So we operate under the principle, at least for the first project, that they are the audience for all the ads. Okay. Even though not, that's not necessarily true. Right. Like in a like in a true sense, the audience may be very different. Yeah. But I want them to think of themselves as the center of this class. And that's the purpose of the project, right? Right. Okay. So they're the audience for my class, they are the audience when they write their rhetorical analyses, they are the audience when we're having class discussion, and they are the audience when they write that final comparative paper. Okay. The second question is, uh, you talked, I love your idea of having them do one or two of these a week and then bringing, bringing something written to class to discuss. How do those discussions end up looking, because I can see how if you discussed one of the articles at a time in that you know, topic, it could take all class, or do you focus on looking at individual analysis and discussing their analysis? What I would do is I would start with a more general discussion of the t of the um, source. Okay. What did you guys think? Where do we see um, Ethos, Pathos, Logos, Kairos? Somebody shout them out. Um, let's highlight them. So I will most likely bring a word copy of the article or whatever mm -hmm. to, or if it's a video, we'll like pick times. So that's one of the things I ask them to do as part of their homework when they're, when they're reading is, mm -hmm. okay, if it's a video, notice the time when you see a certain appeal so we can go look at it. Because we'll watch the video in its totality because they're short usually. Um, but if it's a longer speech, then it, it might not work that way. And then so we look specifically for the appeals, then we'll spend just a few minutes, and it's just about controlling their time, mm -hmm. I think, essentially, is, okay, we've got, you know, this long, I know that I want to spend 20 minutes looking at the appeals and discussing what, what appeals they are and how they work, and then I want to spend 10 minutes talking about overall effectiveness, and then I want to move on to the writing. So I think that is the way that I would do it. It's just a about knowing what you want them to look for and asking really specific questions for class discussion. Open-ended class discussions don't work as well because they will go go off on tangent. Yeah, and another thing you could do too is you could put them into groups and give them all like the same thing and have each group look for different kinds of appeals mm -hmm. and then have the groups present their, like let's say you give them Kairos <clears throat> and they they look at this one um, advertisement and they pull out all the, they talk about Kairos and then they present it to the class and does the Kairos there, blah, 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 and then they kind of lead the discussion that way. Yeah. And that helps you stay centered. Yes. And it helps them distinguish between the different rhetorical devices and takes a break off of you because you're making yeah. them do the work, which is super important so that they can actually learn instead of just, you know, yeah. telling them. So that's another way you could approach it. And the other thing I would say is you definitely want, um, if, if they bring something in, if they've typed up their analysis, start throwing them up on the projector. That's what I was going to ask is how much of that do you do? I do it as much as I can. Like one, what, one per class or like No, several? more than that. Okay. Several per class. Like who wants to share theirs? Okay, and give them <laughs> I give them, I don't like make them choose. Right. Um, but I will also, if I feel like I have a class that's not going to share, I will write my own. Oh, okay. So then I'll share mine. Um, and you want to make sure that it's at their level, so I wouldn't be exhaustive. I would make sure there were holes in mine so that they could add to it. But if you if you feel like you're going to have a class where they're not going to be sharing as much, make your own, use yours first, and then you'll tend to get some volunteers.